Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god, that is the last spot I ever expected that deer to come from. I saw that deer so many times last year, he always came from that way. Never once has he came from that way. I watched him run over there, I saw blood coming out like crazy. He fell down right there. I'm gonna have to call Luke real quick. Hello? Bud. I probably would have never went to the theater this evening. Yeah, and probably not. Those. Yep, would have never came in range. And he started never. to go, he started to go towards the pecan trees, like off that way. And I was like, no. And I finally got my camera arm to an angle where I could, because it was my camera arm that was in the way where I couldn't shoot. Because I like uh -huh. stepped off onto a different uh, limb of the tree. Yeah where I could shoot and I finally got the camera arm over once I realized I was like all right he ain't coming to the feeder I'm gonna have to shoot yeah. him out there and he was 34 point like three or something like that and I'm gonna walk out there and uh get my arrow I got a passer I know I did I don't see my arrow but oh let me call Hunter and I'll tell him to meet me in town he can ride with me or something all right well I have enough um, I'm gonna pack up my stuff and I'm gonna go see if I can find the arrow. I don't know if I got a clean, I'm pretty sure I got a hundred like clean pass through. It should be laying right there somewhere. And uh, Okay, well call me back. All right, I'll call you back. Uh, bye. All right, well, it's been about 30 minutes since I shot him. And uh, I don't see the arrow laying over there, but it should be laying right there somewhere. So I'm gonna pack up all my stuff and uh, head down there and look at the arrow just to make sure. I'm gonna get the arrow and probably head back up to the house and uh, charge some batteries and stuff and give them plenty of time. Better be safe. So, all right, y'all. So, I just made it down to uh, where I shot him. I don't know if you can see. I'll stand.
stand is right up there. You can see my stand. I was up in that tree right there. Hopefully you can still see it. Hopefully it's loud enough still, but uh, I just found my arrow right here and it is, ooh, it's covered. Yeah. That's what you like to see. Those veins are yellow, actually, wow. I don't think he's gonna be far. I saw him start stumbling and starting to go down, but um, I'm still gonna be safe. And uh, you know, this is an awesome deer. I've been hunting him all year and it finally came together. So I don't wanna get in there and push him or anything. It's only been about 30 minutes. It's super cold right now. So um, I'm gonna head back up to the house and sneak out of here and give him probably about another hour to see if we can find him. Okay, so me and Hunter just made it down here and uh, it's been about an hour hour and 15 minutes since we shot him and I'm um, almost certain I saw him go down he was right on the edge of some grass and I could see him start to stumble we found the arrow I already showed you guys once but it looks really good uh, it's got lots of bubbles and stuff in it good looks like good blood so um, I don't think he's gonna be too far but we're still gonna be quiet and try to do our best to just in case he is laid down and not dead yet or something like that uh, where we don't bump him but i think he's gonna be down right there which is gonna go to the last point where i saw him and uh hopefully he'll be laying there so let's go looks pretty good oh is that him right there that is him right there yep see him right oh here. my god yeah it is he blended right in i know <laughs> oh my god. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> Look like well, an idiot. He did go down right where we thought. I was kind of, I was kind of getting scared a little bit because yeah. I thought it was more He's, over there. Yeah, he was like right here. Where yeah. Look, this is where he stopped. Yeah, that's where he stopped. Yeah. Damn. Go look at him. Maybe. I was like, what are you talking about? Yep. Come out the center mass. Perfect. Oh, he broke a little bit of his antler off. Right there. Yeah, he didn't look good. Yeah. The food. Oh. He's nice. Oh. Dude. Heck yeah. Yeah, he had, a, he had another little point right here and it went up kind of like that. He broke a little bit of that off, but Dang. who cares? He's freaking sweet. He's got more mass than I thought he did too. Yeah, I know. Me too. He's got thicker beams. Yeah. Definitely bigger bases. Yeah. Man, you can see look how like his coat was still red this year like he yeah. was last year that's why i called him that pretty cool that's the i guess that's the exit huh yeah yeah so went in right here and came out perfect <sighs> <laughs> you have no idea how relieved i am <laughs> like i've hunted so much this year it's freaking and since this is still the earliest buck i've ever killed with with a bow december 11th but still freaking sweet deer <laughs> passed him last year and he got quite a bit bigger and uh he's not real wide but he's pretty dang tall and he's got some pretty good mass for texas deer anyway <sighs> dang i'm so happy you have no idea <laughs> oh well thanks for coming and, and helping me even though it wasn't much of a track job it's still <laughs> it's gonna be a, a heck of a drag oh yeah that's that's gonna be fun but uh Perfect. Bro, I'm so freaking happy. Whew. Finally. Finally. I didn't think I was ever going to get him. I was about to start hunting a different deer. But he just, just like that days and days of nothing. And then psh, there he was. Came out five yards underneath me. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I guess we probably ought to get you dragging, huh? Yeah. <laughs> y'all what a night last night was awesome it couldn't have worked out any better 
I'm back out here this morning about to um, skin and quarter this old boy out. In the last video, I told you guys that we'd be doing a giveaway for 10,000 subscribers and we are gonna give away two of these hats right here. They're literally the last two in existence. We only had about 10 of these made and uh, there's only two left. So we're gonna give both of those away. So how you enter, all you have to do is follow us on Instagram, be subscribed and leave a comment down below on this video. You can comment as many times as you want and you'll be entered a bunch of times. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Like I said, you gotta be following us to be entered to win these. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.